Hey everyone, here's an update on my learning game of Saratoga and the battle on Bennis Heights continues and all the action has still been on the uh, right flank of the Patriots line uh, they've just repulsed um, another British uh, assault on the fieldworks and um, but it's been a costly endeavour for the Patriots and if you look over at the captured units you can see there that um, Things aren't looking too rosy, and the British have had no casualties other than uh, losing um, General Phillips. Um, so what's happened here is that the British have gone in. Um, uh, the Patriots have rolled terribly each time, uh, hence they've been taking uh, or getting units captured. I've played a few things badly wrong in terms of particularly... Um, stacking units up behind the front line um, and not allowing units the opportunity or the uh, ground to retreat and hence we've had um, hence I just lost the uh, first Massachusetts because I couldn't retreat them um, from the um, fieldworks after they got repulsed um, so uh, that was a, a bad mistake on my part um, they exceeded the stacking limit and I uh, had to be captured pretty sure I've done that right uh, so I've learnt my lesson there. Um, moving down along the line, nothing else has been happening. The British realise that's where they want to make their main thrust and they've been pushing through along there. Um, I've uh, reorganised a few of the American uh, units to uh, bolster the, uh, their right flank. Um, brought a couple of uh, weaker units down here in anticipation of a probe um, on the far left flank. Um, so I've been playing this very much um, on the basis that the Americans um, did not venture out into Freeman's farm, they just held uh, Bennis Heights and uh, fought from there. Uh, I've got to say, um, aside from me playing it wrong tactically in many ways, the uh, Patriots have rolled really badly um, and we really should have seen a few more British casualties, but um, that's the luck of the dice. Uh, from the British perspective, I'm still struggling to get those artillery up into position and um, I imagine done correctly if I did this battle again which I probably will I'd get that artillery up there and um, in position to support the attack um, which would be even more devastating I mean it's tempting here for the um, Patriots to actually venture out because um, from this um, view from the heavens I can see that the uh, um, British and the Loyalists and the Germans aren't that strong in terms of their position um, but I think if I ventured out it would just turn to custard for me at this point in time um, they're bringing up some cannon up here the uh, British so an assault may be going in here at some stage as well so anyway um, the battle continues we're at the top of turn 10 uh, fortunately for the um, Patriots we just won that last initiative because we were locked in close combat here um, and uh, the Patriots um, managed to get uh, um, back into line after they were had to retreat a few units from there. So we had a fortunate initiative roll. So that's the situation for the uh, Battle of Saratoga. The game continues. I'm not getting much time to play it, so it's taken a while to get through it. Again, still thinking this is a terrific, terrific game and um, looking forward to trying the other ones after I um, get through Saratoga. What a great game. Okay, well, I recommend it, guys. So if you've got the opportunity to pick it up from GMT um, yeah, and you want something that's pretty easy to play, pretty easy to pick up. If I can pick it up, anyone can. And uh, beautiful boards, as I said earlier on. Okay, back to you with an update um, as things progress.